been against a rock, so hopefully. I think I did position these though last time. Went down the side of a reef. Or this one. Female brown crab. And this one, this one's not bad actually. I'll, I'll hold on to that one for now because we're getting to that time of year when there isn't going to be really many left. They're still okay at the moment. I'll, a couple more weeks I won't bother with taking them at all because the quality will be not great. Right. See something left of the water, I've got to go and have a look. Great palette again. Take this to the dinghy and get rid of it. Right, before we put this pallet we pulled out the sea into the dinghy, we'll have a closer look at it. Because I don't know if you can see in there, but there are goose barnacles, these things here. They grow on things that float around the sea for a while, so th this has been obviously in the sea for a fair while. It's not in covered in them, absolutely covered, but it has a few on it. You see either side here. You also see things like, things like this. These little creatures, which are living on it. But, 
unfortunately for them, this has to come out of the water. You can't leave this in the water or in the sea because, as you may have already seen, it was covered in seaweed. And if a boat hits this at high speed, then you know what the outcome of that will be. So we're going to chuck it in the dinghy and take it up to the bin later when we come back in. And like I say, unfortunately for the goose barnacles, they're going to be high and dry, so they're going to be end up in the sun probably. So you might say their goose is cooked. Pun intended. Finally, we might actually be able to get out and fish. I mean, we've used up part of our fuel, just messing around, going out and coming back in again. But I didn't want to cart that with us because we're going down south and it's quite a way. So, don't need the extra weight like that. And it'll just get in the way. What we'll do is we'll pick up a third pot, another single one, and take that with us as well. This one's around here anyway, we'll be heading this way. So. Balance the pots a bit, or balance the boat a bit. So yeah, we'll take this one with us as well, because it's not catching a lot. fog around today. Hope it doesn't get too thick. It'll be very disorientating with thick fog. Tiny shanker, but seriously. Just well, I'm going to move this one, I tell you. Pollock, it's probably got mackerel. Nice to see. Let's find out. Any mackerel down there? Oh, yes. This will be the mackerel area then. I know they'd moved from the other spot we were fishing the other day, so sometimes you just got to drive around and look for them. Today we haven't had a few. Well, we haven't had any for several days now. So it's time to get a few. Again, we're only going to be taking the, the better sized fish. We're not going to bother with the small fish. Maybe, man. 
Lovely fish that is. Perfect. We're keeping that one. Here it is. It's a bass. Good sized bass too. There you go. There you go, one decent bass. Huh. Nice bass.
Very little. So I moved Mark, so I went out deep and put something, I think probably pollock. Nice, good size as well. Good eating size. Get straight back down because there could be more. There we go, there we go. That's why you gotta get straight back down. No messing around. You're gonna be off the mark. It's the trouble with the tide today. We drift so quickly around here. won't be long. Just see where we are. Oh, this is fish I think hitting the line here. There we go, there we go. See what it is, is I think they hit the weight sometimes. Well they just don't grab it properly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Must be at least a couple of fish or a decent one. Oh, it's a decent one. It's a big one. A big I say a big one. I mean, they get a lot bigger than this, but you're probably looking at a four pound fish. Uh, maybe three and a half, that one. But still, nice fish. There we go, there we go. Two and a half pounds, that. I might give that two and a half pounds, that one. Too close to it, I might run into it. <laughs> what the? Is that a tree? That's a tree. Where did the tree come from? I can't do anything with it, it's too big. Too big for my boat, and trying to tow it with that shape, it's got a curve to it, so it's a hell of a log though. Fortunately, that is something I can't pull out to see. Look at the size of it. Well, at least it's only a log. Like I say, you never know what you're going to come across out here. There's just no way I'm going to pull that out. 
on top of that, what am I going to do with it when I get it on the beach? I won't even be able to move it. It'll have so much weight to it with the water. Oh well, it's going to have to carry on on its journey wherever it's going. It's only wood after all. But I hope no ships run into it. Um, just seen something else over here. There's a lot of stuff coming past at the moment. Now this we can get rid of. A bottle, glass bottle. And that we can take in. Chuck it in the bottle bank. What is it? I don't even know what that says. Uh, Fyodor? Fyodor? What's that? Vodka or something? Maybe. Right. Let's get back in. Maybe somebody was sitting on a log drinking this and they got watching into the sea. Who knows? <laughs>